Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karya. You guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm going to walk you through how to create a playground that will convert your natural language, human language to the SQL queries and that SQL queries will fetch the data from your database and this will be a production ready code I guess you can use into your production setup as well. Very easy, not using chat GPT. It's a free I'm using Llama 3.2 by Olama, which is uh, made by Meta. Open source model, not consuming much of your resources. Only 1 billion parameter size model will be enough to query uh, to write a natural language. It will build on the top of that actually. So without wasting any time, I guess we can start quickly. And uh, this is something which is built on the top of Next.js. What I'm going to do is in here, is I'll go, I'll show you how many tables I have. I have users, I have product, I have addresses, whatever I'll ask if I wanted to ask like uh, fetch all the users uh, from what I have, it will fetch all the users in here. It will generate the query, it's generating the query. This is my input. I go, I search for the specific use case, search. I got and it is very instant. It is running on local system, no APIs. And this is generating query and this is my output. And this is very useful by the way, built on the top of shard CN, which is built again on the top of Tailwind, built by Versal team. So let's do that. And I have my VS code ready in here. Everything will do from scratch. So Docker compose, I'm gonna create yaml file and assuming you have docker already if you don't have it grab it from here into docker.com you will have this beautiful page install for your system i already have it start this and start writing a very first yaml file with the services that i need to define in here and my db i will fetch the image that will be postgres you can use any database by the way it's all your choice process will remain the same i'll use the ports and that ports will be different from existing so i'll say 5431 this time and this is internal port will remain the same i'll have my container name to uh, specify a separate name uh, which is pg or i i can name it like nl pg okay you can name it whatever you want okay and after that i should have a environment variables just for the password and that will be a post grace underscore password and that with the colon you can define your password which is very secured postgres and here we go all you have to do is docker compose up hyphen hyphen build and now it got so now in order to connect i'm using this database client you can use this extension in order to connect from the vs code itself uh, you can click on this plus icon you can go in here define your select the postgresql define your port in here password is postgres and everything is postgres again so connect and that should work the only thing that you have to do is in your public if you can see uh, you don't have anything for now. Uh, you can define bunch of things in here just to have a normal database. I'm assuming you have the normal database already and that I'm putting it the raw data in here. And I'm assuming you have a bunch of big tables uh, that will not matter. So I'll create a users. I'll insert a bunch of users in here. I'll create a addresses. I'll insert a bunch of addresses in here. I'll create a product. I'll insert a bunch of products in here. Uh, this is not a bunch of actually, this is the normal. And after that, you can, what you can do is, I'm assuming if you mm -hmm. have this structure already, you can have this command to fetch the meta. It will fetch the meta, but we are not gonna use this meta. Uh, we have a one way, we have two ways actually, to provide all your schema information to that model. No need to fine tune the model provide to that model and that model will uh, do the things on the top of that or either you can just fetch a meta but the drawback of fetching just meta that you don't get the entire information of data types and all 
if you have a blueprint you can get you can use that but i'll go with the raw version to be very specific in terms of query so now if i seen here i got all bunch of things i can comment this out i don't want this anymore all i can do is now select start from users and that will in return i'll get a bunch of users in here so yeah we are good to go i guess now the next thing will be i'll need a next year's project and for that i'm gonna use a shard cn i hope i can go to shard cn from here without having a next year's setup so if you go to the docs if you go to the installation into the next years you can grab this command with the npm you have to have node.js available i'm using a node hyphen v which is a 23 the latest version you can put this command in here and hit enter i'm okay so what it will ask for do you want to create a new next year's project i'll say yes you can name it app or whatever you like then it will ask for the bunch of setup that needs to do that we have to do uh, in order to set up the tailwind and shard cn till then if you look at the shard cn uh, you if you are using any button or anything you can have a shard cn cli to install the specific button card or whatever you want that is the beautiful thing uh, so you get what you want exactly you don't integrate the entire library in here that is a beauty and here i'm gonna select the new york and slate version and it will ask for the css variable for the dynamically you can define the variables for the theming i'll say yes it will be in tsx by default which is a good uh, for most of the typescript lovers i'll say and i'll go to the app most of uh, uh, my friends they are not good with the ts i'm not sure uh, whatever you prefer it's all up to you in here i'll remove everything i don't want anything all i'll do is hello and we are good to go and here i'll go to the app now i'll run into the day mode and hopefully this will run on 3002 because something is running on 3001 already so i got this very first i guess so we got this postgres setup already llama 2 is something that we need to set up for that you can search for olama.com download this once you download this this is of 223 mb of size you will get this beautiful icon in here you can go to the models then in here you have a llama 3.2 you can choose the 1 billion parameter size 1 or 3 billion parameter size 1 or it's just a 2 gigs of space that it will take inside your system you can host this on the cloudflare as well so you don't have to uh, worry of having this set up locally so i have a cloudflare account already you all you have to do is not uh, we don't have to insert a credit card this is free uh, you can have your gmail address to log in with and you are good to go and now in here you will get ml resources i guess so you can go in here into the workers ai and inside here workers ai you can have your own workers and you will get your own existing llama 3.2 you can get with the 70 billion of size i guess so which is good then uh, inserting or using it locally is also very easy you can use it locally with the cli so you don't have to deploy it as well you will be exposed with all the things that you want in local directly but we are doing everything in local to be very private so we are using this so let's go to the next years and let's start building it so we forgot one thing that olama run this command that you need to hit on your local system so all you have to do is hit this command and once you do this it will download for the first time two gigs i already have it so i can ask for anything are you aware of sql it will write like a chat gpt if you are aware of this already so this is writing more than the speed of what i'm talking so this is running locally by the way the beautiful thing that i love too much okay and i'll go back to what i'm doing uh, without distracting too much so i have this shard cn why i'm using 
two browsers so i'll have this i need to install few things so i don't need this olava it's running in the background so no need to worry i have to open my app go to the app i need to install few things sqlize i need a pg i need a pg h store i need uh i don't need this button for now so these are the three things i guess we need so i'll install this so sqlize to connect with the database of mine and after that i'll i can install the button let me tell you how it works so if i install this button with this cli you will see there a folder will get created in the ui you will get your button so this is built on the tailwind css so you see it's creating on the top of tailwind which is good and i'll close this up i'll you can have your let's suppose input in here okay you can have a maybe card in here like this there are a bunch of things that you can install and uh, i'll use few things i need to fetch from if you go to the global i have a two themes actually a dark one and the root one so i wanted to use a dark theme by default so you can define this in here so now my default theme is root theme is a dark version so background is this 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 you can change as per your choice by the way we are good to go inside here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a api inside that i need to create a route dot ts inside that Here we go. I need to install one more thing. I guess I need to install the types for this. So quick install types at PG and we are good to go. So what I'm doing in here is nothing but connecting with the Postgres with the port 5431 and we are doing the query, whatever we want. So this is the simplest code, I guess, whatever we are getting in the query, we are putting it in here. We are getting the result and we are throwing the result out the simplest route that we created which is a slash api or you can define it like slash sql as well okay inside that i'll have a, actually another folder which is a sql inside that i'll have a route i guess let's go without wasting any time i'll go to the components i'll create a new component in here so component will have a sql playground once you have it you can start with creating a sql playground and after that i'll have a set query set result set output in order to have try catch i'll have a try catch inside that i have a query and this api which is exposed by the ulama so this api is if you install the ulama you will get it automatically if you are hosting on somewhere else like a cloudflare you will get this api where you have to define two things the first one is the system message to tell system that which prompt should get created so i am saying that as a professional sql developer only sql query should be in response without a extra things or description because this will be input to sql playground assuming i have a db structure like this and this schema that i have to create and that i'll put into the my lib folder uh, that i need to define like ts and here I'll put another code of whole schema that I have, all the create tables and everything that you have, the whole schema, let it be how much the big, the SQL it will be, but you have to provide as an input to know it because we are not fine tuning it. So you have to provide everything that you have in here. And after that, in here, you have to define the query or query meaning the input query that we are gonna the natural natural language okay and after that streaming is false because we if we do the streaming it's not gonna work it needs everything as a output to provide it to to execute it so later what you can do is you can we get the response in this pattern okay so you can extract exactly what you want between this element and once you extract that you can console log it as well and that query that will look at it later and this query that i just created this api in here in route.ts so what it will do is that generated query will be the input and will get the output from there okay so these operations will mostly run behind the scene 
uh, of your organization it will be not very dedicated to the front end and only the sql tables that are read only that can you can put it to the front end and of course uh, it's very safe if you write it properly you have this console error and here first i'll create a playground card where you have a form where you can insert something to get the query later you will have that generated query in here that i'm using syntax highlighter i don't have it i just have to install it first so i'll say npm install syntax highlighter to just view it uh, correctly and later the last thing is that i have to use this syntax highlighter to see the output again okay so there are two types of output i guess that i'm using in here okay the query output and the generated sql output so this is a json data that will look at it here this is the sql data that will see it in here now two things are remaining uh, if i go in here i don't have this sql schema okay so first thing is sql schema dot sql that i need to provide the entire sql that i have you can get it or fetch it from your migrations files you can define the directly migration files or folders you can do it in here i'll read those files in here so why i am writing it in here because you i'm assuming you have a multiple migrations files that you can loop through here you can attach to single sql or single file maybe somehow you need to attach to single file or somehow get the single sql file to put it in here into the sql schema and now you're good to go so now if i go back into what i was doing before bring me this let's install all the missing packages then it will work so now uh, i'm good to go i guess i have everything that i want in here here and here assuming that i need to import this sql playground in here okay like this and we are good to go have to go into here refresh it let's see if we are getting what we want and yeah import fs okay so fs is not working here we have another solution for that is to grab this and put it directly in here so uh, the reason it is happening because we can uh, actually we have to do one thing we have to create a separate api for that so which is which will fetch all the things that you need so this is a server side code so what i can do is to optimize i can put it in here you can do this like this so i don't need this path and everything okay so now this is looking good uh you can do another thing as well if you want put it inside api directly and fetch it into your use effects in here into sql playground so that will work better so that will be another api call that's why we are skipping it to directly providing it in here okay so now i don't need this sql file anymore i'll move it to trash and we'll save it go back in here so i'll have this sql schema directly that i can use it in here so now we are good let me hit this i'll i'll use a localhost colon 3002 in here let me run on 3002 so i'll use my inspect element now inside that i'll open my network first i'll say fetch all users hit query inside that you got the first first one that you got the result already you got the sql query as well and you are getting the results in here so uh this is it i'm that's great so i guess this is it for this tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside the comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed till then see you soon tata bye bye